Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Lately, you're seeing a, a big push from uh, meat eaters versus vegans on YouTube and on social media in general. I think a lot of people that want to eat a whole food balanced diet and exercise that right to do so are getting tired of being demonized by vegans because of their ideology. The whole the whole mindset that uh, animals are more important than humans, the whole mindset that um, animals are not put on this uh, earth as food and they shouldn't be harmed, the whole mindset that uh, veganism in itself is a higher superiority over people that don't practice some form of veganism is beyond me. Uh, the very people that represent veganism are the very people that we often find are the most hostile. Uh, to put some names out there, if you go to Happy Healthy Vegan, it's a constant dramatic overview of what somebody has said. It's uh, constantly dramatizing uh, the way they do reviews on things almost in a feminine style form. And it's terrible. It's 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 trashy, and uh, you kind of get tired of allowing people like that to talk um, so badly about something that they don't even understand, or they're not even qualified to understand. Um, I mean, in back in the day when I wanted to entertain the idea of possibly being able to teach somebody how to be on a vegan based diet if they so wanted to because I'm interested in being able to teach people all forms of eating because I want to be neutral in that aspect if you want to be vegan be vegan if you want to be Mediterranean be Mediterranean so I've taken it as one of my lifelong journeys to my my things that I want to accomplish in my life to be able to teach people how to eat um, how they so choose in the healthiest way and being vegan is not that but if you choose to and you come to me and you ask me for help nutrition-wise, I want to be able to help you. So I search out other channels and often I come across channels that are very militant in their demeanor or it's almost like a comedy show or you know, people trying to lay claim to something um, as if they studied it, they created it, they did the work to research it when they really didn't in the grand scheme of things. So... You know, one day I caught one of Ryan's live uh, feeds and he, it said something about debate a vegan. Well, I didn't really want to debate a vegan. I wanted to know if he would bless off on a vegan-based keto because I know a lot of people are interested in that. And the blatant, just in-your-face kind of response I got, no, I don't support that. Why would you not support that? Why would you not support vegan-based keto? There's no – it's just a higher level of fat and a, and, a, and a moderate level of carbohydrate to lower carbohydrate and the protein ratios, they change a little bit. But why would you not support that? There's no animal products involved at all, but he put his own foot in his mouth and it kind of gave me a bad, bad taste for him uh, right off the get-go and – um I had asked other people about what they thought, and they said, well, Ryan's channel is kind of a joke sometimes, and he's very dramatic when it comes to things. You can't put all your attention into one channel. And I said, well, I, I can see that. I can see how he dramatizes everything, and it's – it is it's, – it's, the concern or the, the, the facade that's put on about the well-being of people uh, from vegan channels like his is just – it's terrible. And to to be honest with you – uh, I won't stand for it, and I'm going to speak out of, about it openly, and if people don't like it, they don't have to watch what I have to say, but uh, I'm going to come to you with the truth. I'm going to come to you with what I've learned over the last 15 years of trying to help people with nutrition and things of that nature. Um, I am trying to come to you at a standpoint where I want you to be healthy. Um, so... If it's a vegan-based diet, then it's a vegan-based diet. If it's a carnivorous diet, it's a carnivorous diet. So I tried doing the vegan diet stuff, and I couldn't get past it. I would go 14 days. I would go 30 days, and I just felt so terrible. The energy was off. The bloating was so bad. I started getting a little bit more blood and stuff in my stool again. The fiber content was just – it was terrible. I could not do it.
So I had to come off of it. And I'm not saying it's not for certain people. Do what you do. But don't go telling everybody that it's the healthiest diet ever because it's not the truth. You don't thrive as much off of that in most cases as you do some kind of well-balanced diet that has good healthy fats, good sources of protein, and good sources of complex carbohydrates, not from sugar-based stuff, and learning how to utilize fruits as a uh, energy tool instead of just consuming them throughout the day because it's not necessarily kosher for some people. A lot of people can't heal your their they can't heal their digestive tracts and uh, you know certain cases of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes and stuff like that is not often healed very very easily by um, that type of diet because it's for one it is so strict that people can't have the products that they're so used to growing up on and if we go back as far as 1948 with Ansel Keys and the whole uh, 22 country study 21 country study that he said he was going to come up with and then when it comes out it's only seven countries and then there's actually no correlation or causation whatever they call it um, to what he's talking about and we find out now is a complete BS study that actually didn't show any kind of relevance he left out so many other countries they didn't have heart disease and cardiovascular disease and strokes and stuff like that that do eat high high amounts of fat and keep their carbohydrates low. So there's a this has been going on forever. This is always going to be a battle. There's always going to be some kind of extreme vegan form that's trying to stop you from what you're doing. But if you notice, the majority of the hostility comes from uh, vegans because they know they can't get their way. They know that just by being quiet and being optimistic about things uh the one goal is to stop killing animals so if you don't do what they say they become militant in that aspect and frankly uh i wish one of them would become militant with me i wish i would have one debate me and not using science or anything using both of our real life experiences and then be able to look me in the face and say because you did what you did you're wrong you should have died or you should have stayed in the hospital longer while you were trying to be on a vegan diet or you should have suffered because vegetables weren't working for you and your conditions were getting worse while you were trying to be on a vegetable based diet i mean i wish one would actually debate me in that aspect because when i look at the thousands of people that i've worked with on the you know the facebook groups and stuff which some people think that's a, that's a joke anyway but these are real people that want help and it's free help and it's from somebody that's studying it it's from somebody that's trying to understand and learn more from it if you can argue with somebody that's trying to do that and then look at them and tell them they're wrong for trying to improve the quality of people's lives for free, not charging any money for it, actually coming out of pocket and doing giveaways and stuff every month to allow people to have better tools in their kitchen so they can cook different meals for their family to entice them to start looking into more fun whole food based meals by using better equipment and stuff like that. I mean – that's great. I mean, if you if you feel good about yourself at the end of the day, but to me, that's a pretty trashy uh, person if you're going to try to force somebody into doing what you want them to do because of your ideology. Um, it, it just makes no sense to me. And then, you know, you get into channels like Vegan Gains where it's just a complete freaking Yahoo uh, comedy joke of, of a channel. The guy's angry most of the time screaming and, and wishing harm upon people and everything else and smashing babies faces and all this other stuff that you know it, it's just the guy's a joke he's a complete joke and he acts you know a grown man that acts like he's 15 years old still and throws his little temper tantrums and stuff like that i mean i'd like to see him get his ass kicked by somebody honestly but that's just that's not very Christian like I know, but I would. I'd like to see somebody just stomp his ass one good time so he'd shut the heck up and um, get off his high horse and stop acting like he's better than everybody. And I know, again, that's not the right thing to do, but that's how I feel. And anyway, um, you know, and then we can go into Mick the Vegan. It always talks about these medical studies and stuff like that that are – Epi, epidemiological studies I can't even say the word right I'm sorry that are trash studies and then if he does find good studies and stuff it's always pertaining to what you know his rhetoric rhetoric that he wants to put out it's never based on anybody's real life situations uh, it's all about complete science which is com science is flawed in itself I mean we're human we make mistakes when we're when we're studying stuff when we put controls in place there are there are studies where there are 
you know, 300 men and 50 women. How is that a, a, an even study to know, you know, if you're doing something on hormone imbalances or how food, um, you know, reacts certain ways in male versus female and what kind of hormone imbalances come into play or are fixed. Studies that are constantly skewed or paid for uh, on both sides, uh, the dairy industry, the, the meat industry, the, the vegetable industry, the, the oil industry. Um, it's it's across the board it's like this so we're acting like there's something new we're acting like there's some kind of superiority when it comes to um, vegan based studies versus uh, meat based studies or neutral neutral studies that prove that saturated fat is not what causes arteriosclerosis saturated fat is not what causes uh, cardiovascular and heart disease and stuff like that you know it's it's it always comes down to what pertains to the person that has a message to put out it's pushing their agenda and that's normal it's always going to be that way that is not going to change but what i can tell you is you guys are hearing a lot of bs from people that don't make any sense and i would think that you would want to start opening your eyes and listening to, to people like bart k more i know bart is he can be rough sometimes with his message but he's true he's honest about things um, getting on there and listening to Dr. Eric Westman and, you know, Stephen Feeney and Jeff Volick, um, these doctors that have been doing it the longest, and then going back and looking at research and figuring out where the times have changed and stuff like that, figuring out why all of a sudden meat and, and, and the GMOs or meat started going out, GMOs started coming in, sugar and stuff started coming in. I mean, you can look back in the day in the late 1800s and stuff and see fat people. And one of the main indications that fat people were rich is the fact that they were fat because they were the only ones that could uh, afford sugar at the time when it was a it was a scarce trade commodity or it was an expensive trade commodity, I should say. My time frame might be off a little bit, but um, it's one of those things where it was never animal-based products or even just good quality vegetables that would cause people to get sick or be overweight and out of shape. It was the refined carbohydrates, the sugars, the stuff like that, that people are trying to say that that's not the case now. So, you know, you got Mick the Vegan channel, which is a joke. Uh, Happy Healthy Vegan, which is another joke. Um, then, you know, Vegan vegan Gains, which is a hostile little boy in a, in a man's body that doesn't know how to grow up. And then... Um, you know, uh, or Joey, Joey Carbstrong. I don't know how many debates I've seen with Joey Carbstrong. Now, I actually like Joey Carbstrong. Um, but I don't know how many debates I've seen with him where people have very, very good talking points. And then he titles the video like he won the debate or like there was some more, uh, there was more relevance on his side when it was the same thing being repeated over and over again. Oh, how could you justify killing the baby cow? How could you justify killing a sentient being? It's the same thing over and over again, and it does not change. But you have talking points from farmers and from people that consume meat and people that are just a consumer of a whole food diet that talk to them and say, you know what, that's your, it's your way to live if you want. You can't take that away from somebody else because of your ideology and what you want. Animals are food. Some of, some of them we use as pets. Some of them we use as food. There are some countries that use all animals as food. That's how they see things. It's not your right to impede somebody else's life to stop them from living their quality of life because of your ideology. And I, I remember one of them uh, directly where he was talking to a guy outside of a uh, meat. Uh, it was like a some kind of slaughterhouse meat meat processing plant. And the guy he was talking to actually had him beat by a long shot when they were talking about this. The guy was just talking about real life situations like I enjoy meat and I'm going to continue consuming it. Uh, there's nothing illegal about it. I don't care about your ideology. Uh, it makes me feel good. It makes me healthy. I'm not going to stop because you think I shouldn't be doing something. Again, this is why we have the freedoms that we have. It's not for you to come into my life and stop me from doing something just because you feel – awful about me enjoying this ribeye steak that I'm going to enjoy almost every night of my life. Um, I started at 385 pounds. I'm down to about 268 right now, and I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying getting healthy slowly, eating a meat-based, whole food-type diet. I just recently added vegetables back in after a nine-month carnivorous diet because my digestive tract was so screwed up, I couldn't handle any vegetables at all without getting some kind of blood in my stool. And now after nine months, I'm finding that I stay a little bloated with the vegetables, 
but I can actually handle them now and I actually do get a little bit more energy with a well-balanced meat, vegetable, you know, protein, carb, carb from vegetable and fats from mainly saturated fats and my lipid profile is phenomenal. I get a little high LDL, but there's a lot of people that have high LDL, like 108 or 118, something like that. But everything else is low. My triglycerides are low. My total cholesterol is low. My my uh, CAC score was zero. Um, and I have my results up on my, my profile from when I was meat eating and when I was uh, keto. And they're both great lab results. My doctor was, she said, keep doing what you're doing. And now my doctor is actually doing keto. She's lost like 40 pounds in four months. And she said she feels great. But she can never talk to it, talk to her coworkers about it or her, her peers, fellow doctors, because they don't support it because they're bought by the medical industry. She's a VA doctor that cannot openly speak about how great she feels on a ketogenic diet. But, you know, that's just the world that we live in today. You have to conform to a certain standard no matter where you go, especially if you're fighting, following some kind of vegan uh, agenda. Um, so Joey, I like him, uh, but I don't like how um, – it's the same talking points over and over again. It's the same uh, – when he, he debates people, there's no new content. There's no um, – it's just always down to this the sentient being. Well, you feel like you want to kill sentient beings and animals and stuff like that. And then they try to talk about the harm and stuff to, you know, the world and stuff that's being done by, you know, cattle cattle uh, farming and stuff of that nature. When there's so many more animals that get killed by harvesting vegetables and grains and things of that nature. I worked for a co-op in Arkansas, Balls Feed Nace Hardware. Uh, right after I got out of the military and mix up fertilizer and stuff for the farmers that grow our rice and crops, our, our peanuts, our potatoes, all this kind of stuff. And I would take the fertilizer out to the field and I would see what goes on. I would uh, Sometimes I would drive a truck whenever the shop was slow and I could go out to these fields and see – you know, the, the, the equipment leaking oil and stuff all over the place, the, the grease that's just all over everything that gets dropped on the ground in the soil that we eat. Um, I could see the amount of chemicals that are sprayed all over the stuff that's supposed to be non-GMO and, and, and this it, – it's supposed to be a more cleaner-based product. And then when they come in to drop their grains, there's contamination in the stuff that we have to either – uh, reject the load or there's a certain amount of um, debris and material and stuff that we can allow in and then people get in these grain uh, containers and stuff and they end up getting sucked into the corn and dying inside it at times and uh, it's not it's not as clean as people make it out to be there's a lot of stuff sprayed all over these products I was sick for almost two weeks because I picked up a handful of soybeans and I was eating them and I thought at first maybe my stomach hurts the next day and I had diarrhea because of the amount of protein that's in soybeans. But I didn't know soybean back then was that bad for me. Um, I had a bad reaction to it. And then I still was talking to the farmer like a couple days later after I went to pick up another load of soy from him. He said, there's chemicals all over this stuff, Rich. You don't pick up anything and eat it. He said, this is – all this stuff needs to be washed and all this. And I, I had no idea. I had no idea that this was going on. So – it's just a matter of of picking what you want to do. There's good and bad in everything. Um, so, I mean, then you could you can look at this, this this Goji Man thing that's going on right now. That it looks like he might have taken a hiatus from the internet for a little bit, but he created the video talking about how he doesn't appreciate that Severage um, was saying that the reason. Uh, he has the health conditions he has is because of veganism instead of some kind of bad medication he took. I don't know if it was years ago or something like that. But anyway, threatened lawsuits to him and Primal Edge Health. And now you see there's videos popping up all over the place of people talking about how ridiculous this is. And he wants certain censorship to be done to these channels or channels in general. I don't know. But um, what I can say is the ridiculousness that's going on with these vegan channels and how hard they're pushing right now with the this this dogmatic agenda and stuff is just it's I'm not going to be quiet about it. I'm not going to stop people from hearing the truth. Uh, if you if you want to live your life, you live your life. You don't let some vegan dictate that or some ideology behind the way somebody should live. These guys, these channels that are trying to make you guys live a certain way, and make you feel better. To hell with them. You don't you don't have to conform to any of that. 
It's all about you, how you want to live your life, and how ethical it is. And if you think it's ethical and you're not harming anything, you're not doing anything, you're getting healthy, you're doing your thing, then you continue to do your thing. That's just the bottom line. You don't let somebody else talk you out of it because of some vegan ideology. Half these people look so – well, more than that. The majority of these people look so sickly as it is. The doctors, half the time when they talk about things, they sound like they're full of shit. So it's just a matter of what you want to believe. Uh, just be open-minded about stuff. Study things, look at research, and um, just do what works for you. You know, don't search something out from one of these terrible channels where their whole mission is to try to make people feel bad for eating animal products. Do what works for you. All right, guys, that's my message this morning. I appreciate every one of you. And uh, I'm going to end with, I hope, Goji Man debates Bart K. Please debate Bart K. We need to see this. There's too much talking going on on Goji's side about how smart he is and how he can help all these people and stuff like that. I want to see him debate a nutritional scientist. Speak up about it. Our nutritional scientist watchdog is waiting for you, Goji Man. Debate him live very soon. Thank you. Be blessed all.